Tonight's applicant is Richard, a 20-year-old student from Wolverhampton. We've been observing him for the last few weeks to build up a profile and to monitor his movements to and from his flat. He lives a quiet and predictable life, which might be fun to shake up a bit. At 3 a.m. one morning in March, we've gathered outside his house, where he is hopefully asleep. His girlfriend has been persuaded to lend us a set of keys. I'm going to quietly break in and introduce myself. says drink. It won't be. Okay. Okay? You won't know which one you've picked. You're happy to play? Okay. You're going to sign this. Now it's a little bit too dark to read. For Richard's trick, I'm going to have him collapse asleep in London and wake up 1,500 miles away in Morocco with no explanation. And for that, I'll need his passport. He will have no memory of the journey or of any time having passed. Since Richard picked the trick card, I now have license to shake up his regulated world. He's going to wake up in Marrakesh, somewhat outside his comfort zone, and this journey starts here. He's catching an early train to Waterloo, and we know he needs to get some passport photos urgently, so we're hoping he'll take the bait and step into the fake photo booth that we've set up. All the cameras are hidden. The 
vibratory patterns of light and sound are designed to send Richard plummeting into a catatonic state. Both Richard and our fake photo booth are embarking on an extraordinary journey. Now, I don't know how long he will remain asleep for, but for the first half hour or so, I talk gently to him to keep him in this state. We arrive at Heathrow Airport a bit late and apprehensive about the check-in. As it turns out, we get through check-in and security without a hitch, but the authorities don't allow filming after passport control. However, we do take a series of snaps throughout the journey. Any recognisable faces and logos are blurred. Richard is now sleeping very happily with no help from me. He has been asleep for 13 hours, but when he awakes, not a second will have passed in his mind. Whilst he was asleep, an anonymous envelope containing his passport, his return flight details and some money were placed in his pocket. After a long and bizarre journey, which for him has simply never happened, Richard is about to receive his wake-up call. All cameras are very well hidden.
Joanne's gamble seemed to have paid off. She was in a great position to win first prize. Only a nine would stop her. <laughs> I need a nine. An average to good chess player normally would think about two or three moves ahead in a game. A chess grandmaster can think anything up to 20 moves ahead.